Hi everybody, in the previous video we created a database and we uh, connected to this database and fetched the data and put it in a table view. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to create a simple authentication. Um, so in order to create an authentication we need, we're going to need a simple web login form. And to do that, I'm going to add two pages. The first one is going to be a login page. Add that form. Let's call this one login. And another page. This will be a member page. So you will be redirected to this page only if your password and your credentials match what's in the database. Member. So this is the member page, and I'm going to just put a heading saying member page. Now let's go back to login page. Uh, here I'm going to add two labels for username and password. Label username and then I have a label this one will be a password and then two text boxes let's go down here first text box this one is going to be text box username and the second one's ID will be text box password. Now I'm also going to add a another label. This will give us an error message in case the password and the username does not match. Uh, doesn't need to have any text for now, but it's going to its color should be red. So it's kind of obvious it's an error message. Okay. And we're going to have a button to log in. Let's call this button login. Let's double click. Now, inside the button's um, click event, I'm going to create a SQL connection object. Uh, it doesn't recognize SQL connection object. To do that, in order to for Visual Studio to recognize it, we're going to need to import the SQL data clients namespace which it's added here and inside the SQL connection you need to enter your connection string if you don't know your connection string uh, you can go back to the users page which we created in the previous video click on data source uh, SQL data source you can click here configure and then the connection string is right here just copy that and then go back to the login page. Now, paste this inside. Uh, since there's a backslash, which is a special character, you need to add one more. Here, whatever. Okay, I have two of them. If you have two of them, you should have another two. And then after creating our connection objects, we're going to create a SQL command where we're going to enter the query SQL command cmd equal new SQL command and inside the SQL command we're going to enter the query that we're going to be run we're going to run in the database select um, I want to select the password I want the retrieve the password field from the database for the certain user from users where um, username 
equals Xbox username that text. Now what this what this does is it grabs the username from the username text box field and it looks for this user, a user with this username in the database and returns the password. And later we're gonna check if that's gonna match the password that's entered in, inside the text box, password text box. Okay. And then CMD connection equals connection. Now I'm going to open up a try catch just in case. And now I'm going to open up a connection to the database. And I'm going to create a SQL data reader object to read the data actually from result of executing our query. Execute reader. Now after we start reading the data, I'm going to fetch the password. So this line actually reads data from the database as long as there's something to read. Uh, we're going to compare this password to the password that the user has entered. If they match, then we're going to redirect to the member page. And if not, uh, we're gonna print an error message. And once everything is done, we're going to close our connection. Now let's, um, and if there's any error messages, I'm going to print that at the top of the page. Okay. Save, make sure everything is saved. Now let's uh, rebuild the project and make the login ASPX the stock page. And then let's run.
I'm gonna en enter some wrong password and username. And username and password does not match. Now I'm going to enter a username and a password from the previous video that we actually populated the database with. I forgot to make the password feel actually a password type, so you can see the password. That's not so, that's not a good thing. You should actually change the text mode to password. But let's see. Um, and as you can see, the member page is loaded. And because the password and the username matched. In the next video, I'm going to uh, introduce sessions, and that 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 way you can actually keep track of the user session and prevent people from uh, typing in URLs and opening up pages that, that, that they're not supposed to open.